No, I'm okay. I'm on that. Uh, good? Yep. All right, today we're going to be going through some basic uh, functions of the control panel. Uh, as you can see, there's many settings that you can change or deal with uh, here. But today we're going to go start with uh, your network and internet. Uh, so we'll be looking at bridging bridging a connection today. Like, uh, I'm just going to take an example of a friend of mine. He has no internet, but he has a strong 3G uh, signal off his phone. So, uh, has anyone hotspot their phone? No? Never use hotspot? No, hot how do you do it? I'd like to know how to do it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you have your phone, we say. Uh, well, it's, I think it's different on most phones, but you go into your settings, uh, then it should be networks, and you'll see an option for hotspot, just enable that. That then will make the phone, let's say, wires, and then you can have your PC that'll uh, connect, connect like a, this basically becomes a modem then. So through your PC, your network settings, uh, I can't go in there now, but you're going to change it after settings, oh, no, change it after settings, your phone will come up there, it might ask for your password of your phone. So you'll have your local area connection and your phone and you just, oh no, yeah, sorry, for the PC, you just connect to the, uh, to the phone's internet and you'll be working off the 3G signal there on your laptop. So you can browse the internet or whatever then off your laptop. Sorry, sorry, are you saying that the phone would come up here in that list? The phone would come up, yeah, on that list because it's actually become a hotspot then. Okay. And your laptop can connect to that phone. And if you, if you have a strong 3G signal, you get a couple of links. Of the internet output. That can be used then to bridge the signal and say, take an example, Xbox, if you have RJ45 cable going from your uh, PC to your Xbox, you can then just highlight the phone's uh, local area connection and you'll have the Xbox will come up here as well. Highlight to then, right click, and you can see an option to bridge connections. This will then send the signal to your Xbox through your PC and uh, you can connect to Xbox Live, walk away from there, download any updates on that and that's really it for bridging connections, you can just always remember to disable the connection then at the end as you'll um, be still using data. That's another thing as well for your phone, this will, you want to have a good data plan because can be kind of through a bit of data on you, so that's that's the brief for bridging connections. Uh, next thing I was going to show you was in hardware and sound, and this then is for if you have um, your laptop, television, and this is to, if you're connecting your if you want to watch a film, you want to. Send the sound through uh, your laptop. You want to watch a film off the laptop, on, but you want it to display on the television. So you have a HDMI cable going through from your PC to your HD telly. If you want to hardware and sound, then, or imagine all audio devices. You can see the speakers of the computer will always be the enabled. And that means then the sound is always going to come through your PC. So if you, uh, once, once this is connected, you'll see a second option then, which would be for your laptop, uh, for the, the television. So if you disable your uh, uh, speakers for the PC, this will, uh, and enable the television one, this will send the sound from the PC into your television, so the output will come through your TV. And that is just a good night because you'll have the wireless going to the PC. That's it. <laughs> a six, pack, a six pack and a bag of popcorn. I'll need the popcorn. <laughs> popcorn. <laughs> and one last thing then would, would be uh, hardware sound. Or not hardware. Uh, honest, honest sound program. If you're on a sound program, if you want to uninstall the program, 
you can um, just go in here, all your programs that are running on your desktop uh, will appear, so it's just a matter of finding the program you want, clicking on it, and installed. Then, if you had one that was uh, not working properly, the repair option could be there as well, you can repair the program from the beginning. And, yeah, this is just a handy way of finding uh, programs that you might be using, so it's good to check it up every so often. You might spot a program that you have to use a game or something that in ages that's using CPU, just delete it, get rid of it. So it might be slowed down in the computer. Uh, any questions? Also? Oh, very good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can go from here actually. Still rolling, it's rolling. <laughs>